Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about adding expressions. So for the first page, we're going to do some problems together. And then you have a chance to, to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so the first expression we have is a 5x plus 10y plus 4x plus 2y. And the key thing to remember about adding expressions is that you have to combine like terms. Let's, let's put that inside this box here. So you always have to combine like terms. So for this first one, we're going to combine the 5x and the 4x. So 5x and 4x is 9x. And then we also have a 10y and a 2y. So 10y and 2y is 12y. And that's simplified. So 9x plus 12y is the simplified version of 5x plus 10y plus 4x plus 2y. All right, the second one we have is negative 3x plus 8y plus 6x minus 2y. And here you have to be careful with the negatives. So we have negative 3x and positive 6x. So negative 3 plus 6 gives us a positive 3, so it's going to be 3x. And now we have 8y. And remember, this subtraction sign belongs to the 2, so we'll make that a negative 2y. So 8y take away 2y gives us a 6y. All right, the next one we have 2x plus 6z plus 4 plus 4x plus 2z plus 3. So I'm going to first add the x's. So 2x and 4x is 6x. Now I'm going to add the z, uh, terms with the z's. So 6z and 2z is 8z. And now I'm going to add the constants. So 4 plus 3 gives us 7. All right, and then the last one we have is 5x plus 4y plus 8z plus 9. And notice for this one, all these terms are different. Like there's no other x's. We have a 5x, but then we have a y, and then a z, and a 9. Uh, here we have a y, but we have x's, z's, and 9's. So this is actually already simplified. So we can just rewrite this as 5x plus 4y plus 8z, and then plus 9. There's nothing we can do there to simplify that. All right, so now you understand how to uh, add expressions. What I want you to do is pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with these practice problems. So for this first one, we have 9x and negative 5x. So 9x and negative 5x gives us a 4x. And then 14y and 6y, when we add those together, we get 20y. So the first one should have been 4x plus 20y. All right, the next one, we've got some negative terms here. So negative 30x and positive 20x, that will give us a negative 10x. And then, really, this is a 1y. So 1y minus 2y gives us a negative 1y. Or you could write that just as minus y. All right, the next one, negative 4x plus 11y plus 4x uh, plus 8y. And notice the terms that we have x's here, they're opposites. So when I add them together, they cancel out. So all that's left now is just the 11y and the 8y. And 11y plus 8y gives us the 19y. And then finally, we have a negative 2x and a 5x. So that's going to add up to 3x. Uh, this uh, 7y and then negative 3y, that will add up to 4y. And then finally, we just have this constant of a positive 8, and there's no other constants to add to it. So we're going to just write plus 8, and there it is. All right, how'd you do?